Every city has its famous hot dog stand, and Pink's is the famous hot dog stand of Los Angeles. My mother-in-law and father-in-law, Betty and Paul Pink, started with just a push cart. Hot dogs for 10 cents, drinks for 5 cents. They were out of work at the time, they were totally unemployed, and they were looking in the newspaper for a job, and they ran across an ad for a hot dog cart. And uh, my father said, well, wh why a hot dog cart? My mother says, well, everyone has to eat. Do you have dogs this good in Seattle? Oh, heck no. We sell about 2,000 hot dogs a day here. Every time you come here, you're going to find a new hot dog on the menu. So today we have 35 varieties of hot dogs on our menu. We have 12 varieties of hamburger. When we apologize to the customers for the long wait, they say, no, it's part of the experience. It's a happening at Pink's. It's, it's a fun place to go to. We got 200 celebrity pictures on our wall, which are all famous people, all endorsements. So that gives us some credibility that these people can go anywhere to have a hot dog. And as you saw earlier today, Steve Martin was here. I mean, just happened to show up in line. Pink's has been called the Hollywood hot dog, if you will, because it traces its history back to Orson Welles, Spencer Tracy, Howard Hughes. The old Hollywood stars used to hang out at Pink's because we're located near all the Hollywood studios. Richard and I went to school in the back here, to grammar school. I was little, and I was here all the time because my parents couldn't afford to have babysitters. So I was here if I wasn't helping bringing in drinks or bringing in hot dogs. I was here sitting and eating. I've been eating here for 30 years. Really? I've had everything you have. It hasn't changed much, and when we just add a coat of paint, people get very nervous and they say, oh my God, are there new owners or you don't change anything. It's almost like in L.A., everything is so new. So something that is 73 years old is like an archaeological find. 